Welcome back to the Laser Book Farm. It's fantastic to have you here. We're working on the Dodge again. Today, we're gonna try to figure out what's wrong with the four wheel drive. We're just not getting any power to the front wheels. I took it out back after we fixed the rear diff and I ended up getting stuck in one of the easiest scenarios. It could have been the ball tires, but four wheel drive just wasn't engaging. So we gotta figure that out, so come along with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with everything I got going on. So all of the teeth do look okay. I'm not seeing any damage, any chips <laughs> when I got stuck out back testing it that uh, there was no power at all going to the front wheels. I did see that the front drive shaft was spinning and the wheels weren't moving. It was not able to move the vehicle, but the drive shaft was spinning. I thought I had a broken drive shaft, you know, a little bit of metal in the oil, and the fact that uh, the passenger side was spinning freely. I, I thought it had to be that. And then I learned that uh, Dodges have what they call a um, center axle disconnector. If you see this box here, it actually has this sleeve that it uses vacuum to connect a shaft here with a shaft here connecting the wheel. So I've got some pretty bad news. I was uh, doing a lot of research and reading and checked the vacuum. Everything seemed pretty good. Was even able to use my little uh, vacuum tool and draw some vacuum on the uh, actuator itself and get it to lock. You know, everything seemed, seemed to be pretty good. And I read that I can pull off the uh, vacuum actuator, uh, neither replace it, because that's a common problem, or clean it might work. So that's where the problem started. I got a socket on there and you know, put a little bit of force on there trying to get the actuator off and yeah, um, the actuator actually snapped clean uh, with the transfer case and I have no idea what to do now. So we finally got the transfer case out and it was a big pain in the butt. studs had actually rusted and corroded, causing the transfer case to, to basically seize in there. I had come along, attached to the rear axle, pulling with as much force as I dared and it wasn't even moving. My buddy Max came over and we removed all the studs, sprayed a bunch of PB blast with the thing, and we're able to get some, some chisels in there to spread the transfer case from the transmission apart, but it was definitely a lot of work. But as you can see, this is the valve that broke when I was trying to remove it and was stuck in the transfer case here. Got the largest easy out, hammered that in, you know, twisting slightly and hammering to, to get it to really bite in there and used my uh, vice grip adjustable wrench to spin it out. And thankfully, I was able to get it out. That, that saved me a lot. I was really worried about getting bits of metal into the transfer case and that would have not been fun. We can put the new valve in and put everything back together. The center axle disconnect is run by vacuum from that little valve on the transfer case. I've got a vacuum pump here that I can put a vacuum on the line to see if it's holding. And I actually found out that uh, my lines were mostly rusted and I had to replace most of it with a vacuum tube. I will replace this with hard line once everything else is fixed. So now that the four wheel drive's working, we got some new rubber on there and it's doing fantastic. And hopefully you don't have the same problems that I did. I'd like to thank you for keeping up with me and hope I see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day.